visual aids are so important to the collaborative process. That's why we see analog whiteboards and writable walls in meeting rooms around the world. But in a video conference, it's hard to have a productive meeting that includes a whiteboard where all participants, both locally and remotely, can actively participate. Until now. Hi everyone, my name is Rambir Sangera, and I'm going to show you how Cisco has democratized the whiteboard experience to let everyone on your team, wherever they are, contribute. Before, during, and even after the meeting. Let's start with the Cisco Sparkboard. It's a digital whiteboard, a video conferencing device, and a presentation screen. Today we're going to focus on the digital whiteboarding part. The Cisco Sparkboard can initiate and share a whiteboard session into a meeting. Meeting participants on another Sparkboard or the Spark app can see and whiteboard back. And then the created whiteboard can be saved to a Cisco Spark space for the entire team to access. But what if you've joined the call from another Cisco desk or room device? Yes. Now you could participate in the whiteboarding session as well. Let me show you how that works. On a DX80, in addition to being able to view a whiteboard that has been shared in a meeting, you now have the ability to initiate a whiteboard session and annotate directly from the device, similar to the Sparkboard. On a Cisco Spark Room Series device like the Room 55, you'll be able to see the whiteboard as content when shared from a Sparkboard, a DX Series, or the Spark app. And if you want to whiteboard back, you could do so on the Cisco Spark app. On our older SX and MX Series platforms, you'll get a notification on the screen that a whiteboard has been shared. You could then view it and whiteboard back on the Cisco Spark app. On a mobile device or PC, the Spark app is like your mobile whiteboard. You can initiate a whiteboard, share it in the meeting, and save it to a space. Cisco's whiteboarding capability is more than just about creating a visual aid. It's about being able to collaborate over time and space. It's about letting every team member actively participate. And it's about enabling a continuous workflow where everyone has access to what was created and be able to continue iterating on it, wherever they may be and whenever they choose. Forget about taking a picture of the whiteboard and emailing it to your team. That was your grandfather's whiteboarding experience. This is your whiteboarding experience.